Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be installing Graphene OS on this Google Pixel tablet. Now yesterday I did a review video uh, showing the hardware, a little bit about the software, that speaker dock. It's actually a really nice piece of kit, but there's a lot of tracking in it. Now Android is awesome. It's actually a really great operating system. As you guys know, you're watching this video. The problem is the tracking. So Android itself is a Google project but it's open source. So there's Android open source project, right? AOSP. But then Google adds in a lot of cool features with a lot of tracking. So we can actually use all the best parts about the Pixel minus that tracking. Now, when I did the video on my Google Pixel 7 Pro, I get a lot of questions like, why would you buy a Google phone and then take the Google stuff off? And the reason for it is because it's just a fantastic piece of hardware. Google actually encourages the ability to unlock the bootloader and flash new ROMs. They want you to be able to develop on their hardware. And I don't think that we're any risk to Google by installing ad-free, tracking-free software on their hardware. They're definitely still making money off of us here. So let's go ahead and get started. And the process is very easy, it's very simple. So here on my Mac, I'm gonna go to grapheneos.org in Google Chrome. I'm gonna go ahead and install Graphene OS. And we're gonna use the web-based USB installer and scrolling down. So you wanna have your, your computer up to date, of course. You can run Windows 10 or 11, um, the latest Mac OS, Debian, Arc Linux, Ubuntu, Chrome OS, Graphene OS, or even Google Android to do this. And then of course you do need a USB-C cable that can transfer data, not just power. And we'll click Allow. Now on the device, you do want to navigate to Settings, go all the way down to about tablet all the way down again and we're gonna see build number there. We go ahead and click that, which will then unlock the developer options. Then we can go to system, all the way down there, developer options, scroll down again, OEM unlocking, you wanna turn that on. Enter your passcode and now we're ready to flash a custom ROM to our device. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna restart and then I'll go ahead and hold down the volume down button here It'll take just a moment, and then you can see we are in fast boot mode. Then we continue to scroll down. All right, let me go ahead and unlock bootloader here, and we're gonna select Pixel Tablet and connect. And after I press the volume button, let me go ahead and unlock the bootloader there. It's gonna reboot, and it should re-enter fast boot, and you can see unlocked there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download release. It's gonna go ahead and find Tango Pro Factory. Let's give that a second and then I'll cut right back in. Alrighty, that is downloaded. Let's go ahead and we're gonna flash the release. And we can see restarting the device. There shouldn't be much we have to do on here while this flashes. Alrighty, and we can see we flashed Tank Pro, <laughs> Tango Pro Factory 2020, blah, 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 blah. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and lock the bootloader. And so on the device, here we go, it does say if you lock the bootloader, you'll not be able to install custom operating system software on this phone. Uh, we'll go ahead and press the up volume and lock the bootloader. Shows bootloader locked and we're all good. There are some additional instructions as well. So disabling OEM unlocking, um, disabling the developer options, but let's go ahead and we will start. Now you will see it's, your device is loading a different operating system. That's okay. Uh, that's uh, not a problem. You will see that it's only on boot, so uh, it's pretty rare that we we uh, actually restart our devices. So realistically, we've got the Google and then Graphene OS. Don't worry about that Google. It's just the firmware. It's baked into the firmware. You cannot override that. Alrighty, and that's all there is to it. Uh, everything does seem to work. Camera works just fine. And just like with any Graphene OS install, including on the phones, you can install a custom keyboard, all that good stuff. Because I noticed that the keyboard's a little bit large <laughs> but uh, the cool part about it is that of course you can use a Bluetooth keyboard as well which I think a lot of folks are gonna end up doing uh, they just put this inside of a keyboard case or something like that but any Bluetooth keyboard should do the trick and it does also work with a dock just fine but also fingerprint unlock does work so even though it's dark in here <laughs> it's kind of dark in here we can tell fingerprint unlock does work. That's all there is to it. Um, now you can have everything cool about this tablet plus privacy. And then you can go ahead, profiles are just the same, that works. And again, everything that you can do with your phone running Graphene OS, you can do with your tablet running Graphene OS. So it's a really cool thing. Yeah, just not being tracked. And honestly, the process is pretty quick and easy. If you're having trouble 
quitting out of Chrome and reopening it is probably a good idea. So I hope this helps and it's a good option if you don't want to run Graphene OS as your primary operating system for some reason, you're not ready to, to make the leap, uh, this might be a good alternative is to install it on a secondary device first. That way you can see how solid it is. It really does work well. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.